Hey guys, it's Benjamin with Benjamin's Exotics, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a review on the DS6000 Digital Scale by Vivarium Electronics. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a quick review on the DS6000 Digital Scale by Vivarium Electronics. And of course, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm not being paid to talk about this product. This is just a product that I've used for about two years now, maybe a little bit longer even, and I've been really impressed how long it has held up and performed good for me and so much that I don't even have one. I've actually bought two of these guys that I use in my own collections for my reptiles and amphibians. So as keepers of animals like reptiles and amphibians, it is very important that we are able to accurately track their weight because weight can be an indicator for so many things. So I could be tracking an animal's weight during the breeding season, so I make sure that I'm not pushing that animal too far because let's say I have a male ball python. If it's losing hundreds and hundreds of grams month after month, that could actually be a sign that the male is you know, going downhill essentially and they can actually breed themselves to death. Or it could be something as simple as I wanna track my animal's growth, so I wanna see, hey, my animal grew 600 grams last year. Or even if it's just to put a snake up on Morph Market or your website and you wanna have an accurate weight for your client to see how much the animal actually weighs, it's so important that you have an accurate tool to measure that because you would never want a situation where let's say you're gonna put an animal on Morph Market and your scale inaccurately tells you the animal is 300 grams but when the animal is actually sent to the person and they weigh it, it's actually only 200 grams. Then they're going to look at you and say that either you just kind of guessed and it might make you seem like almost like a lazy keeper and breeder, or even worse, they look and they say, wow, this guy tried to make his animal sound bigger than it was just to get it to sell quicker, which is not a good look at all. So very important you have an accurate tool to measure this. And typically when we're talking about digital scales, you're gonna to go to Walmart, you're gonna to go to uh, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, any sort of big box like hardware store or even a you know commercial store like Walmart that just sells everything from you know tubs to food to racks to you know whatever furniture. You're gonna normally get these like cheap 15, maybe $12 scales from these big box stores. And while some of them work, some of them certainly can be good. It's a hit and miss, guys. I've gone into Walmart and I have bought, I don't know how many different times, these cheap little, you know, 12 or $15 scales that are plastic. And sometimes you bring them home and they last for a year or two before they die, which is normally what happens at some point. And for that year or two that you have them, they work really great. Others, right out of the box, you see that they're five, 10, 15, 20 grams off. And for an adult ball python, 20 grams isn't a big deal. But for an 80 gram leopard gecko, 20 grams is a huge deal. So it's important that you have a scale not only for your large animals, but also to be accurate for your small animals as well. Which is really what led me to get my first ever DS6000 digital scale from Vivarium Electronics. You know, I'd had my old, you know, what are they, 12 or $15 plastic scales from Walmart, had a couple of those, and I kept, you know, weight records here and there because I like to have an, you know, somewhat of a, um, you know, somewhat of an idea of how much the animals were growing every single year. But then about two years ago, I went to put my first ball pythons up on Morph Market, and I saw that my scales were just all over the place, no matter which one that I used. I had a couple left floating around. And I said, you know, that's it. I'm putting these animals up on Morph Market. I wanna feel good that the people are actually seeing an accurate representation of how much my animals weigh. So I went out, I think I was buying heat tape or something like that, and I added one of these onto my order just to see, you know, what it was like. Because if not, I was gonna have to go search at a bunch of different stores to find a scale that was right for me. And these have been literally fantastic. I've had this scale for about, you know, I think it's coming up on two years, maybe a little bit over two years even. When I put my first ball pythons up on Morph Market, I bought this just before that, and then 
This scale right here is a newer one that I got a couple months back that I actually use for my amphibian room because I like to have different scales so that I'm not risking the transmission of diseases or parasites from animal to animal, especially from wild caught amphibians to captive bred ball pythons. Certainly I wanna get some of my amphibians to be captive bred within the next year or so, but that's gonna take some time. But anyways, off of my little uh, rant, it's a good idea to have multiple scales if you're going to be keeping multiple types of animals all because you don't want to be constantly having to clean these and who knows how effective your cleaning actually is so that's another tip you know get multiples of these so these guys are not the cheapest scales certainly they're not expensive but from your 12 to 15 dollar scales you normally get at a place like Walmart these guys are going to be more in the range of 25 if you get them from reptile basics that's what I got them as all the way up to like $32. I've seen them on eBay and Amazon for this exact scale. I would personally go with Reptile Basics because their shipping isn't too bad. And if you get a couple of them at a time, certainly it's not gonna break the bank. Uh, but as far as you know, build quality goes, like I said, most of the cheaper ones you get are plastic. This happens to be like a stainless steel build. The bottom of the unit is actually plastic, uh, but it's not like a cheap, you know, crappy plastic. When you feel this and you, you know, you tap on it a little bit, this is certainly, you know, not a cheap grade plastic at all. It seems to be a very well-made product. And I think that if I dropped this, I mean, if I dropped it from a skyscraper, maybe it wouldn't survive, but certainly a fall onto the ground a couple times isn't going to render this scale ineffective. At least I haven't had that experience and I don't drop things very often, but when I do, stainless steel is the way to go. It actually takes four, AAA batteries, which are included, if I remember correctly, when I got them out of the box, I don't remember getting any special batteries for these guys. It does have this plate, which you can actually turn and remove. I'm not gonna do that, because it's a bit harder to get on. And under here, one unfortunate thing about most of these scale designs is if you get a bunch of particles, like bedding, especially if it's like a, a finely ground, like coconut substrate, can actually go in this crack and start to mess with the internal components of the scale. But the great thing about this is that they've actually included one of these. So this is kind of like an acrylic, basically like a, a I don't want to say a base plate, but certainly it's a, a plate to sit on this. So if you have smaller animals like geckos or amphibians that have a tendency for small particles of the bedding to actually stick to them, all you have to do is set this on here and this is going to catch all of the bedding. You can actually probably see with this one that I use for some of my amphibians, you can probably just barely see the little, you know, particles from the, uh, coconut fiber, and it doesn't seem like much, but over time that can actually build up in your unit, and who knows what kind of problems that could cause long term. And of course, for bigger animals, this isn't gonna work. You'd wanna use a bigger tub or something like that. So to finish off this review, I do wanna do a quick weight test for you guys, and this isn't anything really scientific or anything like that. I just like to, whenever I get a new scale, I wanna make sure it's consistent and it's not throwing me you know, different weights for the exact same item. So the best thing to do, because animals are not nearly the best to test this on, because an animal, just by breathing or just the, you know, movement of organs around their body, it might not sound like it would make a difference, but that can actually throw the scale off by one or two grams here or there. So using something that isn't organic, that isn't moving around, something like a tape measure is probably the best way to measure the accuracy of a scale. So roughly, this should probably be about, I would say, you know, four or 500 grams for something like this. So we're gonna see and make sure the scale is just somewhere in that range. And then we're actually going to take this off of the scale and put it back on a couple times to make sure that the weight that it presents us with actually holds true. And that's consistent over a couple different trials. So we're gonna take the plate off, turn our scale on. I'm gonna put the tape measure on the scale just like this. So in this case, I'm getting right around what I would think, so 227 grams, or uh, sorry, 427 grams, which for something like this, that's gonna be within the accurate range. So what I like to do is take this off, turn the unit off, turn it back on, clear it, make sure that it is truly cleared to zero, and then we'll put the measure back on the scale. And just like we got last time, 427 grams. We'll do this once or twice more just to show you guys how accurate and consistent the scale actually is. So we turn it back on, tear it, make sure the uh, thing stays at zero, put that back on, and again, 427 grams. Normally some of these scales can be off by a gram or two, but this one is literally sitting right on point. It hasn't thrown a 
uh, you know, difference of one gram or even sometimes two grams at all in this test. We're gonna do it one more time just for, you know, the sake of the video. On, tear, make sure it sits at zero. Put the measure back on. And we are sitting again at 427 grams. So as you guys can see, this is an extremely accurate scale. It's a very well built scale. And it's certainly not something that's going to fail on you three, six, you know, 12 months down the road. So if you guys are out there and you've been playing around with these cheap $12, $15 plastic scales that you get at a lot of your big box stores, and you're really looking to do an upgrade on your scale to measure the weight of your animals, I would highly recommend checking out the DS6000 digital scale by Vivarium Electronics. So hopefully you guys did enjoy and most importantly benefit from this review on the DS6000 digital scale. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, be sure to give this video a like, be sure to comment, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.